We see that this one has a bit of an upgraded controller compared to mine. So Jack is a bit fancier riding around, and while I get pegged by a Toyota Prius, he'll be okay because his bike light is more advanced than mine. But it does still feature the same mounting system as well as the same micro USB charging and the included, or at least I assume it's it, yep, there it is, micro USB cable. This test would not be complete though if we didn't actually take these things outside and give them a run for their money. So now we will jump outside and test them out on my bike. So now we are out here in the wilderness at an unspeakable hour to show you these lights. Let's first off begin with my cheap and lowly lights, the Asher. This will give us a baseline, so this is the highest that it goes. Low, different modes. And now, for the piece de resistance, we check out Jack's light. We go low, medium, and high. So some things I noticed, it seems like the actual throw of his light is farther, but it is not as bright in the immediate area. And this is probably because I have them just focused at different angles, so if I bring this one down, we see it's a lot brighter. But the actual distance that I'm able to see with Jack's light is farther. Now this leaves the actual decision of what light you get then down to personal preference. Would you rather see the things that are in front of you in very bright light or see farther out so you make sure that you're not gonna drive into a bear or other large animal. Who knows? That's up to you. We're tossing it back to us in the studio.